welcome to Srinu Technologies. So, today in the Java related development, most of the building build related tools which is going to use in the market like Ant and Maven. Now, we are going to discuss about little bit advanced related build tool called Gradle. So, let us start exploring on that. How much we can able to utilize this Gradle tool in our application development process. Okay. So, first, like before discussing into Gradle related thing, first we can discuss about high level with what actually the builder tool. So, build automation tool is process of automating the creation of software build and associated process including compiling source code into binaries. Here the binaries are like libraries and executable files and packing. So, here we can say assembling and running the automated related whatever the tests. So, the life cycle of complete these things, this should be done by, done by automation. Now, this whatever the process if you talk about enterprise application means it is enterprise application means like large kind of projects it's very complex process so like whenever the build tool the first generation we can treat as tool with called make make and its variants are included with linux and mac os then Windows operating systems. Next, like the next generation in case of our Java, what we can treat as popular kind of build tools like Apache Ant and Apache Maven. So, these are the primary for the Java based applications. Gradle is another popular build tool. So, it is going to give on top of advantages of Maven and Ant. So, let us discuss about like what are the different kind of build tools which is going to exist in the market. So, basically two different kind of tools which is going to exist that is what imperative, imperative build and declarative build. So, what is meant by imperative build tool? So, the imperative build tool tells that the system what to do and how to do it. In other words, it provides a set of action statements or commands with the system executes in a same order and perform this action. So, these kind of imperative like you can able to see the example in case of ant related applications this means ant build related tool. So, there we are going to mentioning each and everything what we are going to require to happen in case of our project. So, we are going to writing in the XML file that is called build XML file. Next, when we are talking about declarative, declarative build tool instruct the system tells what you would like to achieve and the system will figure out the how to interpret it. With the declarative approach, the user only needs to determine what not to how means like not to how means what here like this kind of process is already known for this kind of tools example like maven so here all the things already we are going to have their own set of rules and regulation if you want to tell anything customization means like we can able to tell that one otherwise it is going to follow its own life cycle process now so already there is a tool called ant and maven is there then why we required to go for the gradle so first let us discuss about what ant drawbacks so coming to the ant drawbacks what are that means here the first problem what we need to discuss means here the build whatever you are going to achieve by using xml file that is called build xml file we need to write ant build scripts using xml if you want to automate a complex project then we need to write a lot of logic in the xml files when you execute a complex and large large projects and build it produces lot of verbose at code at console means what here this console is going to get lot of whatever the statements that time user may not able to get right one in a quick next 
there is no built in ant project structure called template kind of thing since we have to use any build structure for our projects new developers find it too hard to understand the project structure and build scripts next is what it is very tough to write some complex logic using if then else related statements so we need to another one is the dependency problem we need to maintain all the jars is required version in the version control tool there is no support for dependency management so this is the one of the critical kind of requirement in any kind of java based applications means we need to use number of third party tools we need uh, we need to achieve our functionality means that time mandatory the dependency management should be there because of these drawbacks nowadays the most of the projects are restructured and they are using the maven build tool even though maven provides the following benefits comparing to the ant but still some of the drawbacks is there so now we can go with what sections with two advantages of the maven and disadvantages of the maven let us exploring in that the advantages kind of thing what is that maven is an expressive declarative and maintain build tool means here expressive means what each and everything you want to have in your requirement that you can able to give in the terms of what command then automatically it will be going to interrupt you that is what expressive that is easily you can able to understand and declarative means what most of the things you are going to write in a here also xml file so that is what pom.xml file next one is what maintainable build tool so for the complete process you can go for automation here next one is what all the maven projects follow predetermined structure means here we have different types of already templates is there called archetypes so each and every archetype will going to give as a template ready made kind of template so if you want to have different kind of flavors with different kind of uh, combination of the projects like spring and hibernate hibernate like spring and we have the web related like that already they prepared so many kind of templates that templates means nothing but arch archetypes so you can define the archetype suppose in some situation i don't want to use the existing archetype then here they are giving one more kind of feasibility to you you can write your own archetype to follow in your general organizations here new developers find it easy to understand the project structure and start development very quickly next one is what the dependency management what the problem we discussed in the ant so here we don't want to need to maintain all the jars with required version in the version control tool maven will download the required jars at build time maven supports the dependency management is the one of the best advantages it comparing with over ant so these are the what advantages when we are going with ma so these are the advantages of maven going with ant now the disadvantage and also here is what it is a modularized project means each and every each and every whatever the project you can divide it into sub projects and we can able to tag as a single project called multi project structure is also available coming to the disadvantages what we have maven follows some pre predefined build and automation life cycle sometimes may not fit our project needs means like already the life cycle whatever it is following but sometime we need to change that whatever the life cycle that time it is not very much easy to go with changing that life cycle next one is what even though we can write a custom maven life cycle methods but is bit, bit tough to understand and it's most kind of verbose next maven build tools are the bit tough to maintain for complex related projects means whenever you are going to start adding each and everything to your uh pounded xml file if it is going to gets more and more it is growable means easily maintenance will be not there so bit like if you want to do some kind of changes means we need to be cautious like the changes what we need to do in the particular kind of section next maven has solved most of the ant build related tools but still there is a some drawbacks is also there that's why what we have been discussed here next then ultimately you are telling like the gradle is there next the generation is came into the gradle 
So what is the Gradle tool? Here first one is Gradle is a open source build automation tool that builds upon the concept of Apache Ant and Apache Maven and introduced the groovy based domain specific language instead of using the XML form used by the Apache Maven for declaring the project's configuration means earlier in case of Maven and and we are going with XML kind of thing means here there is no feasibility to write our own logic like our programming kind of style. So there is no programming style means means automatically you need to keep on interest interest to learn this XML kind of content only then we can able to develop the like a project related requirement but here what they given chance to you means you don't want to follow with XML style now you can able to follow with what DSL language means it is a groovy based like scripting kind of language so DSL is going like this groovy based DSL will going to work on top of the JVM only so Java related whatever the features we can able to use in our project we can able to utilize in the developing in our build process also next one is what Gradle is a multi language, multi platform, multi project and multi channel build and automation software means it is not going to target about only Java based application. It will be supported for what number of languages in multiple platforms then multi projects like different one project having different kind of sub projects that is also there and multi channel build related also it will be supported. Next coming to that Gradle will going to address whatever this kind of address advantages because of domain specific language it is it is completely going to follow what groovy language now gradle is a one of the first build tool that supports declarative build and build by convention here declarative kind of tool means what each and everything you can able to configurable you can able to configure an xml file you are going to do or not the same thing we can able to achieve in the script related files also and it is going to be built by convention means if you are not specifying anything it will be follow its own kind of nature or otherwise you can instruct to the tool you need to change the behavior of the process then also it will be going to support it that is by build by convention and declarative build next gradle by using the gradle ultimately what the project development time and increases the it will reduces the development time and it is going to increase the productivity because the familiarity with languages what we have on top of that we can able to write the code very flexibly so that's why automatically reduce in the development time will be there and in case of productivity in case of productivity there there is a much more growth will be there next coming to the advantages of the gradle so coming to advantages of the gradle like maven grad is also an expensive declarative and maintainable build tool even though it is following script language but it is having the own kind of what advantages next what just like a maven grad is also support dependency management this dependency management is one of the one of the most which is the one of the most flexible and giving the support to existing kind of whatever the build technologies also so if you have maven related libraries then you can able to use maven related libraries or you want to connect with different kind of repositories or you want to go for custom repositories each and every level they given so much of what customization support is there easily you can able to plug and play whatever the requirements you want with terms of repositories also that's why it is called a strong dependency management next gradle provides very scalable and high performance builds Scalable means what if you are keep on adding your data into your scripts at that time there is no anything in application behavior uh, what uh, like decreasing it is auto like you can add on top of that it can be have the capability to run anywhere that is called scalable and high performance means like each and everything you don't want to run in a what uh, before this uh, like uh, normal whatever the process right you can able to run this kind of application in a daemon thread and automatically you can able to utilize more next what is that gradle provides a project layout and a life cycle here gradle is going to follow some life cycle and layouts related but this is not ultimate one ultimate one means like it is not a what uh, what we can say it it is not a uh, mandatory we need to use it's very flexible to have your 
own option to configure the different wind and you can able to run along with next it is very easy to use the gradle tool and implement the custom logic in your project most of the times like whenever our project is going to require the life cycle changes in case of uh, our build that time xml is not that much of cooperative to do this kind of thing that's why it is more it is very sophisticated because you have the already knowledge with the functional kind of thing directly you can able to make use in your project next gradle supports the project sector and consisting of one more than one project to be build deliverable means it is multi project related support and it is very easy to integrate existing ant and maven related project with gradle means the legacy application you are going to develop by using ant or maven easily you can able to migrate into the gradle so here one kind of option also there next what is that it is very easy to migrate the existing it uh, migrating the existing application into the gradle means in terms of integration means like old kind of support you can run and also you can change this application into latest gradle also it will be supportable in the both the areas that's why the gradle is become one of the more kind of popular in case of build management next why we need to choose the gradle so gradle is going gradle build scripts are more readable and expressive and declarative so next one is what it is going to return simple groovy kind of na, uh, groovy kind of whatever the script there is no xml that's why it is having its own dsl language on the groovy related script it is high it is scalable for the complex of multi related multi module related projects unlike the maven pom.xml we need to we need to write boilerplate xml code there like we are not going to write anything the xml code there next it provides the plugin support like if you want to work with this tool with different kind of ideas there is a support for all the ideas will be there eclipse netbeans mysql st uh, sorry uh, my uh, my eclipse is also there and also we have what uh, a, a spring suit all the whatever the ideas popular in the market it is having the support and also it is used to maintain the multi projects multi projects and also it is going to support different kind of programming languages like Gra java groovy scala and android related most of the android uh, android related whatever the projects this is going to use the gradle tool and c c plus plus related projects also now it is going to use for the build process next these are the high level whatever the features so far whatever we discussed i illustrated in a complete one shot slide so here it is a first one it is a build system so it is going to use for the build system it is a declarative and customization plugins by using dsl language that is written in groovy script and also you can write this whatever the changes with terms of api like much more familiar with kind of uh, programming language you can use and having the strong id id integration support is also there it is completely open source and also convention over configuration it is going to following like maven next integration with maven and ant is also available next this build is written in terms of groovy language strong catchy management is there and we have the dependency management is a very strong and incremental build feature support this is one of the most important kind of feature with the terms of gradle means how like if there is no change in in your code it will not going to run each and every time once one time only it will going to run that and automatically it will be giving the better support that next in terms of parallel execution is also supported by using kind of daemon we can able to get the parallel execution so the productivity of our application development in terms of build so you can get more kind of advantages comparing to ant and maven related that's why the people in the industry they are going to start using of what this grading related tool okay so next in the video we are going to proceed with the installation of the grad gradle okay so thank you thank you very much hope you have understood keep watching our videos keep learning